Hi everyone, my name is Denise, you're very welcome here. I just want to put out this vision that the Lord gave me because I think it's really important to know and to pray for, especially in the times and the seasons that we're in. But this was a, a powerful vision and I'm just going to share it. It was just very brief and I know that God is, is asking us recently to pray for protection over people and obviously with the things that are happening in the world. But anyway, in this vision, just start off, it's like I was looking at big skyscrapers, big buildings, just swaying to and fro. And it's like, it's like it was an earthquake. And as I was looking at these buildings, I was saying, wait, is this, this is New York. This is America. And that was it, you know, and then I was praying, obviously, and then God reveals. Okay, so it looks like that there's going to be another one in America, in New York. Um, so we need to pray. We need to pray protection over people, whether it's a bigger one. Uh, people just need to be alert, you know, and those who are ignorant and, and don't believe things like this. Uh, honestly, that's not my problem. I'm just here to share what I've seen. And also, it's important that we're praying for other nations, you know, against wars, especially against attacks. You know, there is a darkness, evil in the hearts of people. People uh, betraying one another, um, <clears throat> people getting offended, people offending others, people doing rude and nasty things, um, horrible, wicked things that are happening in the earth, you know, because that is the evil one, you know. So we are the light of the world, those who have received Jesus and are following him um, and have him as Lord and Savior over all of our life, completely surrendered, you know, you're giving it all to him. Uh, no messing, no in and out of the world here and there. You know, you're following the Lord. Um, but God is dealing with the wicked and God is judging evil at this time. So I want to just give you this uh, psalm um, for today. So it's Psalm 94 and I'm just going to read it all. So, O Lord, to whom vengeance belongs, O God, to whom vengeance belongs, show yourself. Lift up yourself, judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long will the wicked, Lord, how long will the wicked triumph? How long will they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of inequity boast in themselves. People who are boasters, braggers, proud, haughty. Um, those who look down on people. You know, those who manipulate people, deceive people, rob people. Hurt people, physically hurt people, abuse people, all of this, you know, God is dealing with. So there's shakings even in, um, even on the earth as well, as well as in people. Um, and the Lord does say, by their fruit, you will know them. So we need to pray for even the lost, even for those who are doing wicked, evil things. Pray that their eyes be open, that they know the truth um, and the love of the Father. They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Yet they say the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, you brutish among the people, you fools, when will you be wise? He that plants the ear, shall he not hear? He that forms the eye, shall he not see? He that chastens the heathen, shall he not correct? He that teaches man knowledge, shall he not know? The Lord knows the thoughts of man, they are vanity. Blessed is the man who you chasten, O Lord, and you teach him out of your law. That you may give him rest from the days of adversity until the pick is dug for the wicked. For the Lord shall not cast off his people, neither shall he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return to the righteous, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against evildoers? Who will stand up for me against workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord has been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. God is for us. When I said my foot slips, my, thy mercy, O Lord, you held me up. And the multitude of my thoughts within me comforts the light my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? which frames mischief by a law. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn innocent blood. But the Lord is my defence and my God is my rock of my refuge and he shall bring upon them their own inequity. 
and shall cut them off from their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord God shall cut them off. They will fall into their own pits, their own traps. We see we have to pray for them. We also have to forgive. That is very important that you do not let um, yourself get defiled in these times by unforgiveness, by offence, by getting revenge, by, by being angry at things that are happening to you or in the world. And make sure that you're not calling evil good either. So I just want to pray for protection over you at this time. For what I've seen, you know, it's, this year just seems to be things happening, things changing. But you see, God is still on the throne. God is still good. No matter what you're going through, no matter what's happened, no matter what someone has done to you. This is the other thing, do not let happen to you. Is to let your anger come out at God. A lot of people turn and they blame God. They love him one minute, bad things happen, they blame him. They get angry, they walk away from him. They ask why this, why did he not do this, why did he not do this? We praise God. God is good. Love the Lord with all your heart, your soul, your strength, your mind. There's some things we don't understand, some things we don't know. Still praise God. We've all gone through things. Every single one of us are even going through things. But don't let the enemy put that in your mind where you become bitter and angry and blame God or blame people. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we just thank you for this message today. We thank you, Lord, that you're the one who brings revenge and vengeance, Lord, to our enemies, to the wicked. We thank you, God, that you're bringing them down. You're bringing down the proud, the haughty, Lord, the evil, the wicked, Lord. Even as your word says, Lord, those who've reigned for a long time, oh, why do the wicked prosper? But, Lord, you laugh and you see when their day is coming. So, Lord, we just forgive those who've hurt us, Lord. We just pray, Lord, for people who have evil, horrible attitudes and characters, Lord, that you soften their hearts, that you even show them what they're like, God, in Jesus' name. Father, as for the vision, Lord, I just pray, Almighty God, for protection over people, wisdom for people, Lord, protection as they come and go, no matter what day it is, Lord, protection over their belongings, them, their whole family members, God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray for the rebellious, the stubborn, those who refuse to listen, Lord. For their hearts, Lord, to be changed, Lord, to be filled with your love and for the eyes to be opened. And Lord, for people to come away from, from wrong influence, wrong relationships, relationships that are taking them to hell. Even things that they're doing in their life that seems good, but it's actually taking them to hell. That they're going the wrong way, Lord. Open their eyes, Lord, even if you have to pull them back, Lord, to save them, Lord, to save their soul, Lord. Just pray protection over them in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, we thank you that you reveal things to us so that we can pray. We thank you that you love us. We thank you that you see everything, that you hear everything, that you see the tears that people have been crying, Lord, or even sown in tears, Lord, that you're the rewarder of those who diligently seek you and that you protect us. And as your word says, you're our refuge, you are our keeper, our stay, our loving father. And we just thank you and we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus name and amen. So just continue to pray yourself um, and bring that under um, uh, the Lord as well yourself. Um, and he will give you a strategy and he will show you things also. Uh, you don't have to have a title for, for God to, to, to speak. You can hear God for yourself. God talks in a lot of different ways. You can hear God for yourself. All you have to do is spend time with him. Spend time in his word, spend time in prayer and God will always, always show you things to come and he'll always protect his own and stand for his own. So God is rewarding the faithfulness, the obedience at this time. So God bless you all. Continue steadfast in prayer at this time. Thank you for listening.